Looks like we may have gotten the rotation issue fixed for the second half. Let's still get a few video things to set up. Okay, guys, looks like we're back online. Second half, hopefully, got some of those technical difficulties to uh, make it a little bit easier to see the screen a little bit better in the second half. So, need to get our uh, YouTube live streaming uh, settings figured out for the future. So we'll be starting the third quarter with uh, the Eagles up 60 to 6 over your Lions. The lineup out on the floor with, uh, for the Lions, we got Lena Markwell, Peyton Chaney, Maisie Gilbert, Lily Pitt, and Kayla Rogers. Lane is taking an early three, trying to get, get that scoring going. Oh, we got the ball back. The layup's no good. Sauce no good for a lot of it, but they get the rebound. And the layout becomes good for a lot of it. Oh, and Lubbock feels the inbounds pass. Good defense there by Lily Pitt. Layup pumps no good. He just had a difficult time getting those rebounds down there. Lubbock keeps the ball. If you guys are hearing me okay on the YouTube live stream, try to give me a thumbs up in the YouTube stream if you can. So that way, just make sure I'm you're getting some of the audio. Or you can just mute the whole thing and just watch the video. Oh, and not able to get the ball back. Long pass down. Love it. Play it. Good.
Oh, and we got a foul on the side of town by Luna Muckwell. Okay, she'll be making a trip to the line. We got a foul on number 14 for the Eagle. We'll turn the line for two shots. Oh, the first shot goes around, drops in for one. And we got a uh, pretty much a full substitution list for uh, Lovett coming in at this point. Oh, second shot's no good, and that's out of bounds. Uh, Lovett getting possession. Oh, two points that's good in the corner. The other number five. That's the uh, daily group Vera. Oh, and good recovery by Maisie, but she have to fall on the out of bounds line before she can get the ball back in bounds. And another three-point shot good for the, for the Eagles. That's just the number one, Gracie Merrill. We got a foul on the play. Looks that was maybe on Elena. Yeah, that was her first personal. First team foul of the quarter for the Lions. Looks like you're going with the freshman lineup for Coach, Coach Holman with uh, JoJo Val. Got a Pangborn and Annalise Pike coming into the game. She's joined Maisie Gogert and Taylor Rogers. Three point shots up, no good. But they rather get the rebound. Getting on the board right now, and yeah, that's good. Emily ah. Pike gets the shot up, it doesn't fall in. Three point shot to go for Robert, number 22. Katie uh, Evans. And Lee Pike goes for the three. Good shot attempt, no good. A little bit bringing the ball back up the court. Slowing it down a little bit. That three point shot's no good. It's made to go to get a rebound, putting the ball up the floor. Oh, there we go. Kick ball. Nope, we didn't call it. And we got a timeout by the Eagles. Looks like we may have taken a full timeout.
And we got Lubbock inbounding the ball after the timeout. Got a three second in lane ball, the Eagles. Oh, Lions ball. The, end of the third quarter. So the Eagles are up 79 to 7 over the Lions. We got one more quarter to go. They're seeing a lot of smiles over there on the bench, so I knew it was going to be a tough game. Six shot effects no good by the Lions. Next shot intentionally good, maybe gets the ball in the rebound, but well, it comes up back with the ball and that's good. Oh, and that shot's good by Andrew's high three point shot. I guess uh, ready to come in the game for time. We got a foul on the south end. I think that's on Annalise. So that's her. That'll be her first person, first team foul of the quarter. So it's lovely going to the lines in two shots. And the first shot's good. We got two five, different five coming into the game. So Chris is our upper class from size. Peyton Cheney, Lily Lambert, Lily Kitt, 
CC Ray and Lane Marshall. Lena makes a nice move to the basket. Doesn't get it to go. Let it quickly back up the floor for a three point shot. No shots waved off. Let it travel. Almost got the ball back, but the out of bounds off the line. Goes to the Eagles. And the basket good for Lana Marco. So we down there. And the pit looks good. And I think they're going to catch her on that one and they're travel. Good defense there. Got a little hands. You gonna call that foul on Liliana? That's her third personal. Second team foul of the quarter. Oh, good defense by CC Ray. Staying in front of her. Trying to get that ball back. CC gets the ball. Keeps her dribble. CC. And we got a double dribble call. Love it. Lions get the ball back. Gonna call that on Elena. And they are doing a well, we just to stop the talk there. They were running that two running clock there for a bit. Looks like we're going to bring in a different five to open the senator. The seniors maybe come off to an applause. The 
35 seconds left in the fourth quarter in the game. We just can't catch up to it. And Elena Marple gets the steal off the end off half. 14 seconds left. Takes the three-point shot. No good. CC does get the rebound. And then Peyton takes the shot. Oh, and then they do stop the clock with 0.7 seconds left in the quarter. With Elena going to the line for two shots. And first shot stops up the front of the rim. And the second shot's good. And that's the ball game. Tough game. I know it's not the way they would like to have seen it in, but that, that's the game. The Eagles take it 87 to 13 over the Lions. And that will bring the 23 24 varsity girls season to an end. So, again, tough way to end. They knew they had a tough opponent. Uh, with a three time defending state champs, and you got to see a little bit about why they are the defending state champs. So, great effort, and good luck in the next round of the the Mother Christian for Eagles. Well, that'll be all for us here in Lubbock. We had a great drive over, good launch, and uh, the girls had a good time on the way over. Uh, we're going to pack it up, clean up, and we're going to go see a little TC versus Tech men's basketball and go see how they do it over here in Lubbock. So everybody have a good night, and we'll see you soon.